We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alan Thrall, and for those of you that have watched my informative videos, you may have found them very beneficial. Please pay attention because this is going to be the most informative video I have published. It could be life changing. It is a well known fact that one in three gym bros will suffer a fatality as a result of inappropriate spotting. We here at the PSOONA, the Professional Spotters Organization in North America, are working hard to reduce that statistic. I'm the representative for the North American branch of the PSOONA, and I'm here joined by a special guest of the Canadian branch. Omar Isaf, I have 18 years of professional spotting experience. I have 23 years of professional spotting experience. Combined, we have over 40 years of experience. Most videos on how to spot correctly are short, lacking in detail, and not exhaustive. With this video, we're making the most definitive spotting video ever. With this video, you will be equipped to be a professional spotter. To date, we have 6,000 members of the PSOONA, and that number is rapidly increasing. Our goal is to have a one-to-one -one ratio between spotty and spotter. No one should have to lift alone. As a professional spotter, you are responsible for your training partner's safety. Negligence on your part could result in a serious injury. Or worse, you can reveal how weak your training partner really is. Without further ado, it's time to cover How to Spot. When spotting the squat, it is important to properly warm up. Zercher squats are an excellent exercise for a spotter because it mimics the movement. I would suggest sticking with lighter weight, higher reps. Three sets of 10 works best. As a spotter, make sure you are equipped with weightlifting shoes, a belt, chalk, and sunglasses. Start by placing your feet parallel with the spotty's feet. Underhook the spotty by placing your hands at 5 and 7 o'clock. Upon descending, ensure the curvature of your spine matches your spotty. Extension with extension, flexion with flexion. As a spotter, it is your responsibility to prevent your partner from going into no man's land. Proper depth. Proper depth will put you in a compromised position. Whatever you do, do not reach proper depth. Upon ascending, Make sure to engage your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and biceps. Apply constant pressure against his or her sternum. As a spotter, it is not your job to remember how many reps your partner did. It is your responsibility to confuse their muscles. Good, you got four more, come on now, four more. Good, dig deep, two more, two more reps, let's go now, come on. The less they know, the more they'll grow. As a spotter, you should be equipped with the following. One, weightlifting shoes for stability. Two, a belt to reinforce intra-abdominal pressure. Three, a secondary belt to reinforce the ass chest. Four, a bandana to increase intracranial pressure. The less you can think, the better spotter you'll be. Five, a helmet in case things go really south. Six, Gloves for callus prevention, sweat absorption, and reducing the transmission of STDs. Before you spot, be sure to include a thorough warm up. This includes single arm tricep band press downs for increasing blood flow in your elbow tendons, or as we call them, the jaws of life. Next, you will perform the most critical exercise that best simulates spotting on the bench press, the bench over row. Place your hands on the bar in a position that allows you to effectively spot your training partner. Make sure to, one, keep your T-spine extended. Two, to maximize spawning strength potential, torso angle should be at 30 degrees. Three, using your lats, trapezius, rear delts, biceps, brachials, and most importantly, calves, row the bar to nipple height. Keep the bar path vertical. Anyone that has reached an elite level bench press of 225 pounds or higher warrants the use of lifting straps. Once your spotty is in place, ensure that your scrotum is directly perpendicular to the bridge of the nose. This will keep them alert. Now, it is time to execute the spot. Begin by forcing complete protraction of your spotty shoulder blades by pulling the barbell as vertical as possible. This is for maximizing rotator cuff recruitment and full range of motion. 
It is critical while you spot to enhance your mind-muscle connection. Think less about the safety of the spotty and more about the muscles you are recruiting. At no point should the spotty be lifting any more than 50% of the load. This is for his ego and your hypertrophy. Traditionally, the Swiss method of spotting on the deadlift is from the sides. This, however, puts your back in a compromised position and can lead to disc herniation and paralysis. Instead, the Bulgarian flat back method is 100% safe. Start by laying prone on the ground with the barbell directly over your neck. Simultaneously take a stance that places your feet just outside of shoulder width. This position will maximize power and stability. Begin by exclusively using your rotator cuffs to hoist the barbell in proper position. Both pairs of forearms should now be perpendicular to the barbell. As your spotty is deadlifting, begin to press the barbell vertically into the lockout position. The Bulgarian flat back method can be utilized for both conventional and sumo stance pullers. Muscles being used in the deadlift spot are the following. One, pectoralis major and minor. Two, front delts. Three, all three heads of the tricep. Four, lats. The origins of the PSOONA are actually rooted in tragedy. Alan's brother passed away tragically from a barbell curl accident. Our goal with the PSOONA is to prevent any further death as a result of inappropriate spotting. With your help, we can ensure the safety of gym bros worldwide. For further updates on the PSOONA, as well as some tips and techniques for your duties as a professional spotter, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Furthermore, my Canadian colleague has some announcements he'd like to make. You can also check out my channel for further information on the PSOONA, as well as a very special announcement Alan and I have concerning a project we've been working years on. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this educational tutorial. With your help, anything is spotable. The Professional Spotters Organization of North America. Today I'm joined by my uh, fellow no, you're nailing it, Dorch. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. <laughs> For those of you who have seen my informative videos, you might take. <laughs> to, to date, we have over 6,000. That's right, to date. To date, at a growing rate, we have. That's what Oh my god. <laughs> This is the craziest tricep pump of my life. This includes single arm tricep band extensions, tricep band extensions for blah, blah, blah. tricep band extensions, ex extensions, 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 tricep band extensions, extensions, ex tricep band extensions, extensions, blah, blah, blah. tip of the tongue that tips the teeth. Single arm tricep band extensions, press downs, I'm gonna say fuck it. The Bulgarian flat back method can be utilized for both unconventional what the fuck? Oh, that's, 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 <laughs> I don't mean unconventional stance. Just an ugly ass deadlift. <laughs> conventional, unconventional sumo. You can fucking use that too. We're actually rooted in tragedy. Alan's. I'm gonna nail this. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna nail this. If you would like more updates on the PSOONA, as well as tips and techniques as a. That's phenomenal. <laughs> tips and techniques, that's a nice touch. And for more tips and techniques on your duties as a professional spotter. Sorry, that's, <laughs> sorry, that's phenomenal. That's a duty. You keep adding stuff and it's funny. You can also check out my channel for further information. Fuck. I'm gonna nail it. <laughs> oh, that's nice, the one. Dude, it's solid. No, I like it. You like it? Yeah, it's good.